Thank you. This should be a good battle against two experienced wrestlers. Priester in particular with his second place finish at 126 last year and also fifth in the Nationals. Uh, he comes from a uh, lineage of good grapplers. The Frick making a post position and gaining a takedown. Now when I say a post, the post is the right hand slips over across the knee, you yank across. That's all it's called. I don't care where you go, it's a post hold. And it's quick. Frick maintaining control. Frick, one of two seniors in the Lehigh lineup. Treaster from Kansas. Frick, of course, has wrestled uh, perhaps the, the toughest schedule in the country as far as a 134, certainly uh, Eastern schools. Frick up too high. He's going to lose his opponent to an escape. It's now 2-1. Jim has a record of 13 and 8. And has wrestled practically the entire season for Lehigh. He's a senior. Columbia, New Jersey. Still bothered and hampered from time to time with a shoulder injury. If the name is familiar to the fans in the Baltimore area. His brother, of course, national champion, Mike Frick. During his high school career, Treister won four state championships at Beloit High School in Kansas. Frick in again on that single, but a nice counter move come through by Priester make negate that attempt. And this is a situation, Shell, you and I see so often where Frick is the aggressor, goes in for the takedown, makes the first move, but never gets, gets countered. But in this time, he got, came through. Now leads four to one. Priester ranked 12th in the nation at this weight class by National Mad News. And sitting there with a 20 and 7 record today. Frick 13 and 8 with two ties. Congratulations to the Penn State team for knocking off Iowa State the other night. Very close bout, 19 to 15, final score. Penn State defeating Iowa State. And it was really close, Shell. There was three draws and three bouts decided by one point. So six of them went by, six out of the 10 were very, very close. And of course, the local favorite, uh, Andy Voigt from Deerup over in Allen, uh, did a yeoman's job gaining a draw against the number one grappler in the nation at that weight class. Brick getting momentarily trapped, but the buzzer saves him and he stayed in control. Priester try to come through with a Gramby. First takedown, Larry. Okay, he's in just on the double. Counters on a short arm drag. Again, now gets that ankle pick, which Lehigh wrestlers have been working nicely on today. A couple of times picking up that ankle. But Andy Voigt gained a tie with the Iowa State wrestler, 190. Take it. And that enabled Penn State to win, even though they lost heavyweight by a two to one score. back, went up front with an underhook, pulled him back, but he's going to lose control to and probably end up in a neutral position or a shrug. And there's a neutral. 4-2 on the board. Six to go in the second period. Lehigh seven, Navy nothing. Here at 134 pounds, we're at Grace Hall on the campus of Lehigh University in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Priester. Crowd of, I would say the best, certainly a, the best Grace Hall crowd. It's just about sold out, Larry. Yeah, I would say we've got 3,300 then on the uh, Sheridan meter. And of course, Lehigh usually wrestles at Stabler Arena. That. Arena is used for another purpose this afternoon. So we're back here at Grace Hall and we are packed. Very few empty seats. Just about a sellout. 
kind of like the old days, Larry. Some some old timers have come back, and I certainly don't want to put uh, an Al Lewis in there or Bill Fulmer, but I saw Al down there before. Former wrestler Lehigh, whose father was, and, and uncle were so instrumental in the Lehigh program, the Lewis brothers. He's sitting down there uh, watching it with Lee Barthold, and nice to have him here. Jim Hagee came all the way from the other side of town to see this. He said he wouldn't miss it for the world. He was here at 1 o'clock. 20 seconds left, second period. Second period. We have Stallman against Lehigh Frick. Situation there that Treaster was making the moves and Frick was doing the counter. Treaster wrestling into the sunlight there for a moment. You have a Stallman warning Lehigh now. Okay, he took the last two shots. Voice of John Hosage, the official, telling Jim Frick about his stalling warning. Good choice. Okay. Ready to go in the third period now. Frick trying to hang on. It should be a very, very big win for Lehigh to win this third one with Peter Yazo yet to come up at 142. And the possibility, at least, of taking four in a row. Frick breaks free, gains an escape. Worked very hard in that combination. He has almost two minutes' time advantage over his Navy opponent. As a matter of fact, one minute and 50 seconds. He's got to remain aggressive right here, Larry, because the next warning, of course, will be a point. He got bumped in the eye. Momentary time. Mike, guys, we're ready. Shake hands, and we'll go the last minute and a half. And, of course, that can cool you down when you've got the intensity going and, the, and literally the, the adrenaline flowing. Frick comes up, gains the takedown. Leads by 7-2. to two. Riding time assured now, so not with yet, the eight. Well, technically, uh, it's not assured. He has two minutes with a 110 to go, so if he reversed, he could wipe it out. I but yeah, you're right. Technically, right now, right you're now correct. Right now, we got it. You couldn't have waited another six seconds and said I was right. Right, Sheridan? <laughs> <laughs> no, I ought to be fair. No, I'll get even. finest. You know, I get <laughs> Navy. I still have a love for the United go States ahead. Navy. Ready to go now. We're going down and try to wrestle in the final 50 seconds. Okay, Lehigh's Frick leading 7-3 on the board with a point for time advantage, so he really has a five-point lead over Matt Treister of Navy. Again, Frick, Treister goes in, and I got a feel, Shell, a, a kid of his ability, and I, I'm saying he's he's a very good wrestler. That situation, uh, I think, is part of that injury. He just doesn't have 100% of his coordination. Frick just shrugged him, and he went by, and he's getting dizzy again. Okay. This is exactly... This is exactly where we are. You, you okay? Tell me when you're ready. When, no problem. You're hurt. Don't wrestle. It's just a crew. Okay. Well, get it out. What's up? You okay? Yeah. Time in. Take it. Frick is going to let him up to try to convert a major decision here. He'll need a takedown in the last 30 seconds in order to do it. If Frick can take him down, he would have an eight-point spread. Tries to spin around and. As he did, Treister just wasn't there. Well, that was a Darrell Burley special that we saw. Treister making a, a really a headlock. Try to, there's the takedown. And if Frick holds on, it'll be the second consecutive major decision for Lehigh University. And with the victory, which will be 12 to four, Jim Frick has given Lehigh three in a row, and the score now is Lehigh 11, Navy nothing. We'll have more wrestling coming up in just a moment. <laughs>